The true beauty and uniqueness of Hinduism is in the way it teaches life's lessons through scriptures and epics. The pantheon often speaks about the asuras as well as the devas and their eternal struggle. Historically speaking, they come from the same father Kashyap. Rishi Kashyap was the middle-born son of Lord Brahma. Some sources also claim that he was the grandson Brahma's son and the son Mariti. His many wives were mostly daughters of Daksh Prajapati. Aditi was the mother for the devas while Diti was responsible for the asuras. Others wives also gave rise to the Gandharvas, Nags, devas and so on. According to Hindu cosmology, devas and asuras have the same status. They all follow the same dharma and they all worship the trinity. Brahma provided all with the same soul and mind as well as the same knowledge. The differences in the way they thought, understood and acted on the information led to vast differences between the beings. According to Hinduism, Kuber is called the lord of wealth. He is Yaksh, a semi-divine being and a god king. He is considered to be a Dikpala or the regent for the north. He is also Lokpal or a protector for the world. He is depicted riding an elephant in this form. Kuber is reversed as the overlord of many semi-divine beings. He is also the owner of all treasures in the world, including all minerals and jewels found underground and all riches owned by earthlings. Kuber is often depicted as a dwarf-like man with a large stomach. Kuber has a lotus leaf complexion and is often adorned with jewels. He also carries a money bag, pomegranate or club in his hand. He has a yellow theft eye and wears armor and a long necklace that reaches right to his large stomach. In the earliest Vedic text, he was called the chief of evil spirits. However, the Purans as well as the Hindu epics extolled Kuber to be a demigod. His half brother Ravan overthrew him as he ruled Lanka once. Later, he settled in Alka in Sigiriya. Many sculptures praise his many virtues and praise his magnificent city. Other scripture states that he currently lives in a beautiful mountain close to Kailash. According to the Mahabharat as well as the Puran, Kuber married Bhadra, also known by Kuberi. She was a yakshini. They had three children, Nal Kubra and Mari Grief, respectively, as well as a daughter called Minakshi. His wife was called Riddhi by the Mahabharat, which means the embodiment of prosperity. Kuber is not just a popular figure in the Hindu pantheon, but also features prominently in Buddhism and Jainism. He is also known as Vaishravar or Jambula in the former and is often associated with Panchika. He is often shown as being accompanied by a mongoose in Buddhist sculptures. The mongoose in Tibet symbolizes Kuper's victory over Nagas, treasure guardians. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. If you liked it, like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already.